Philosophy and Science 2 Dialectics and the Metaphysics Okay, the, the first video we talk about idealism and materialism and it's very important to understand that science is based on materialism idealism is obsolete but still some uh, religious people use the God to explain something and that's idealism the materialism is based on the nature nature exists independent of what human thinks the another important uh, aspect of the physics you have to understand is the underlining assumption which is in philosophy's area it's a dialect dialectics and the metaphysics so historically uh, the Aristotle and ancient scientists their view was the static world the world is static and stable it's a metaphysics accept the world as is and classification of things like human cats dog you classify everything and things never change so when you ask okay human never change so long time ago when human was born who was the first uh, humans born Adams and Eve right the who created then it's come to the problem hmm the world should be static and never change somebody got created so they bring in God okay so that's metaphysics and what one good aspect of metaphysics is when you start observing nature you classify the phenomena and see the commonalities and start thinking about what's behind it okay so the first step the is a, the first step of the natural human uh, thought process is metaphysics but when you stay there then you don't see the real nature when you study science and physics you have to take the world as a dynamic and changing and which is a dialectics okay so nothing stays the same okay everything change this ancient Chinese philosopher said everything changes the the change comes from internal power change doesn't come by the God power or anything else it change itself like the egg become um, uh, chick the they grow and break the shell and they come out that's internal power okay this applied to social science and the economy this is a uh, philosophy level so it's not only science economics and other social science also behave same way because human is a part of nature how humans uh, make a society it's just extension of the those apes right you look at the chimpanzee society it's pretty similar to human there is a boss and they make a group sometimes group fight each other yeah pretty much same so it's human is just extension of nature so human society how they create a society is nothing special it's a part of nature so it's follow the nature's law which is dialectic so dialectic is important to learn science and physics and if your major is economics and others it is also important to you we're talking about philosophy very basic level okay the growth of living things it's born grown and die okay so this process is entire process is dialectics even space is born the big bang and grow and die eventually okay so when science initially thought space is static never change forever now as they understand more oh space 
had a beginning. And probably space has an ending too. And the time, the physics uh, scientists now think time is not constant all over. The first breaking point is Einstein's relativity theory. Time taking speed is relative, depend on which observer you uh, you are, which flame are you on. Taking speed is different. Time begin at the Big Bang. It may end. And quantum physics shows the time sometimes reverse at the quantum level. Okay, so the nothing static, nothing. Uh, stay same forever it changes okay human recognition now human increase the recognition of the nature that means human understand nature more develop more science physics and more and more knowledgeable about the nature science development understanding of planet from flat earth in the beginning People thought Earth is flat, but when the ship disappear over the horizon, they thought something wrong. The ship come back, it appear over the horizon. Horizon, so the maybe Earth is not flat. And starting from there, the uh, observation of planet tells you Earth is not just round but also it's not center of the universe, okay? So development of science is like a recognition process. Human recognition increase. How is it, does it increase? It's not static, it's, the science stays same forever. No, it keep moving. What is the driving force of these changes? The driving force of changes and movement and the philosophy of that is called dialectics. The gravity and relativity theory, gravity understanding gravity, change from Newton to Einstein, and now the quantum mechanics, we are bringing in different concept for understanding gravity. Okay, so the, this human recognition keep deepening and deepening why how what is the driving force okay so scientific scientific method we learn that's a method but what is the basic the driving force of the change of human recognition or advancement of human recognition that is dialectics changes changes of season Material change, water freeze to ice, or water boil into vapor. The everything change. Whatever change, there is a principle there, working. There is a, a something working in there, which is a dialectic. Family system from a group form to family unit. Now, you think from Stone Age, the you you thought the the all the humans had a family each family uh i don't think so the angles who uh, studied dialectics very hard check all the data and he believed there wasn't any family family system was developed you look at the uh, apes they don't form family they form only groups okay and in, in the southern uh, island, the Angels studied, they have only several groups and they cannot marry a uh, member of one group to another member because they are two crows, blood, blood crows, you know, this, uh, they separate the group by blood relationship. So naturally, the family system is created by excluding who you can marry with and that's the basic of forming a family okay within family member 
you cannot marry. Outside the family member, you can marry. And you can see in some uh, naming system adopted in Korea, they said, okay, same certain name, last name, they cannot marry. They are too close. Okay? So the group to family system, it's developed. Family wasn't there in a stone age. It's not something forever. Okay? Dialectics explain, uh, no, dialectics doesn't explain. Dialectics demand for human to investigate and explain how the family was formed. Economic system change, stone age trading, then feudal system in Europe was a feudal system. The China had a little bit different system. Then capitalism came along and socialism come up. And this is a famous uh, Marxism. He, his idea of economic system changes from Stone Age to capitalism and socialism is exactly dialectics. Okay? There's no such a thing that uh, human use capitalism forever. It's never happened. It's going to change. Okay? What is the driving force to change it? underlining force for change that's you understand uh, through the dialectics and change is caused by the internal energy conflict contradiction so dialectics thinks there is a conflicting element within anything and that's con contradicting things conflicting things is a uh, driving force for the change okay so the scientist's job is to find what is a conflict in things within it's not caused by the external force like God okay so to understand dialectics more Engels propose several aspects of dialectics first one is quantity to quality change in the reversed process. People often forget this reversed process. The quality also changes the quantity. For example, uh, water boil. Okay. Why? Because water molecule has bonding power. It's bonded to be a water. Now, quantity change, energy level increase in the water then molecule vibrate and break away from the bonding power. So bonding power and the kinetic energy, kinetic movement, they are the conflicting power here. And the quantity is energy, energy change. And eventually energy increase, then water become vapor. That's the quality change. And reverse process is like in the air conditioning system when you push out the liquid at high pressure to the air open air then it suddenly uh, become uh, gas um, absorbing all the uh, heat around and that's air conditioning right and that's the quality change causing quantity change quantity is energy energy change caused by the quality because the it, we force liquid into gas quality change then quantity change okay penetration or unity of two opposing side okay this is various terms used but actually it's a conflicting item for example water's bonding force and kinetic uh, vibration is two opposing side okay and they are inseparable uh, aspect of the molecule they both exist you cannot exist only one it's bonding power only then uh, water become suddenly the like a black hole okay if kinetic energy aspect only 
exist, then there's no water, it's all fly away. They have both existing to form water. Okay, so two opposing sides, they are united, penetrated, and cannot exist alone. And denial of denial, or some said negation of negation. Okay, so this is the aspect of dialectics. The when opposing side deny, overcome other side, then opposing side dominate. This is a dominant position of op opposing aspect. Okay. But it's going to be eventually dominated by other side. So it's keep changing. Okay? So that's the denial of denial or negation of negation. Okay? The angle simply put a little bit more concrete form uh, here, three items to understand dialectics. Okay? Um, they're all single process dialectics is there's no three dialectics okay the people misunderstand the dialectics has three of them no it's just a different uh, aspect of single dialectics the three processes are proposed to explain dialectics okay so then we have so far materialism and dialectic view these are essential to do science and to learn physics. Okay, so the both of them combined together is called uh, dialectical materialism. Okay, and there is one more to combine, which I'm going to explain in the next video. So, if you like this video, please move on to the third video of philosophy for physics.